Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and very very happy evening to all see in this video. In this video, we are going to see about Alok Industries Limited. So what basically I am going to speak about Alok Industries Limited is that the category of trading segment of Alok Industries Limited is going to change from T to B. So I am here to explain how it can change to T to B and why it should change from T to B because as you can see here, the group it's trading is T. So basically people ask what is T and what is B. So friends, uh, you should note a main segment here that uh, according to census classification of stocks, there are various categories, A category, B category, T and XT. So when the grades come down, it means the quality of the stocks is not good, the transparency of the stock movement is not good and henceforth. So A group stocks means that they give beautiful information, time to time information they give. Uh, so basically Alok Industries Limited as you know friends uh, has been under insolvency process and you should note very quicker that Reliance Industries infuse going to infuse around 250 crore which was a later video post about that we share that Reliance Industries may invest around 250 crore in Alok Industries Limited. So how I am saying this they are going to move from T category to B category class with friends. When the share was listed a few weeks back I think they said that uh, straight 10 days the, the share is going to trade on T segment after T segment after 10 days the share may change this category so as per our calculations we think that the category may change from T to B now people may ask me what is the benefit of the share moving from T to B if you ask me friends the benefit of Alok Industries to move from category T to category B is that the lower circuit or the higher circuit volume may change that means the circuit volume may be changed if as you can see here now currently the volume is 5% that is the upper circuit volume is also 5% lower circuit volume is also 5% so if it moves from T category to B category the quality of the stocks will be improved that means the transfer is also improved as per this category classification so alloc indices people may give it or the CP may give it a 10% upper secure or maybe a 7.5% upper secure that may be possible in Alok Industries Limited. So basically we think that March 2nd would be the date. March 2nd 2020 would be the first date for Alok Industries Limited to trade in the B segment. Once it starts to trade in the B segment, we think that the share may rise. So until that time we think Alok Industry may come to 10 rupees. Can see a range of 10.5 rupees. I think from then to the, I mean, from in the Reliance Industries, they are going to infuse around 250 crore in Alok Industries Limited. Once it's the infuse, I think Alok Industries Limited can definitely rise in the future to a lot of level. History also we said that Alok Industries Limited is trying to give the maximum benefit can be given to the shareholders because you should note that uh, a lot of value has been lost during the insolvency process and now it is a time for repay to the shareholders who have really have the share and now for the category is now T segment and this they move to B segment in the future and if they move from T segment to B segment I think that would be the best opportunity for every shareholder who is holding Alok Indices Limited friends and this is about Alok Indices Limited and I think this is very very important is because category classification of a shares enhances the security level of a investor who have invested in this share and this is about Alok Indices Limited if you enjoy this video till now then make sure you can subscribe button because you could get the latest updates regarding many shares including Alok Industries Limited. Thanks. Thank you friends.